In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the next part uh, from Crystal Anne. So we're going to continue working on this song. Uh, you already know uh, kind of the leading part, like the main riff. Uh, two guitars are playing it at the same time in the D minor. Do remember though that uh, we're in flat, so you want to retune your guitar. And you also are familiar with the next part. So this is the guitar three, uh, three that's playing on this third fret and fifth and doing the hammer on pull off um, combination there. So what I want to show you today is how to play the harmony for it. So while the one of the guitars is playing this part here, There's another guitar playing a harmony, but it starts on the 6th fret here, and it goes 6, 8, 10. So that's the shape that you're going to be stretching over. So I would suggest using 1st finger, 2nd, and 4th right here. So first you want to make sure that you can stretch nicely to that. You can uh, do a lot of exercises for that too. You can even do a spider with those three if you feel like. Um, but yeah, just make sure that um, it's feeling comfortable before you start. So uh, what you want to do first is you're going to be using the, the first two fingers, so finger one and finger two, and you're gonna hit the eighth fret first, and then you're gonna play six, eight, hammer on, pull off to six. So similarly, we had the three and the five. So all of that here, but now on the sixth and the eighth fret. And then your pinky is gonna stretch to the 10th fret of the B, so we got just like that. So make sure that that pull-off is really pronounced in there because sometimes the pull-off is a little bit quiet so the hammer on it for sure should be loud but just make sure you're pulling on it. Especially because the song is done at such high tempo so just like that. And then after that on the B string here you're gonna go to the eighth fret with your second finger and come back to the ten. So if we connect that we got just like that. I'll do it again. Just like that. And then finally after that, we add, we're kind of going back up the scale. So eight, 10, six, eight. Just like that. Remember as you're finger picking two to alternate between your index and um, middle finger, I think that might be good. So that's your first part. So you're gonna repeat that three times. And just a moment that you stop right here on the 8th fret, you're going to go to the 10 on the B right here. So you're going to go 10, 8, 6, 10 on the B. So again, just the scale going down. So 10, 8, 6, 10. And then you're going to come back and you're going to go 8, 6, 10, just like that. So if I add it all up together, 10, 8, 6, 8, 8, 6, 8. And then finally, this is going to be a kind of a weird sounding note, but you're going to play that and it'll sound beautiful in harmony with the main uh, riff. So this is on the ninth fret, and this one is the only one that's going to be done with your third finger. So if we do that high part again, that's where it's going to be, right there. So it's the same thing that you're doing, but here it's, you're going to be on the sixth fret. So they do both sound nice together. So even though it might not sound uh, perfect on its own, that's exactly the way you should be doing it. So just make sure you learn it that way. And you do have a tab at home, so that should help. So I'm just gonna recap and I'm gonna go through the whole thing. There's that part. So just make sure you're working through it slowly. Uh, play it with a metronome too, and then uh, slowly speed it up, of course. So um, even though the song is really, really fast, we quite don't have to do it like that. And when we're doing the duet, as long as you can um, be on par with the main riff, because I know you can play your main riff really fast. So just keep working on that one for sure. Uh, this part here is sounding good too. You will have a choice, of course, um, which part to play in all of it, unless we record it and layer it all up. So I think it should be a, a really good tune for you. There's also the next part that we're gonna talk about uh, next week. It's all gonna be done with your thumb, and it's gonna be on the D, G, and the B strings. And if you wanna take a look at it already, you can do that. It's the guitar three, and it's happening 
um, after, right after the intro. So that's the part that you, you could try as well. So for that one, just make sure that you're um, you, using one shape there as well. So it's two, three, and the five, just like that. So it's first finger, second, and fourth. So hopefully this video lesson was helpful to you, and I'll see you next week. Bye.